Uh, good afternoon. Let me welcome everyone to TDOC Talks. Uh, I'm here this afternoon. I'm David Sexton, uh, Assistant Commissioner for Prisons, and we're here at the Debury Special Needs Facility in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, I have with me Dr. Williams, who is our Chief Medical Officer. Good evening, Doctor. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Here this afternoon to talk a little bit about palliative care uh, at the Special Needs Facility. Could you explain for uh, the audience kind of what palliative care means at our facility and what we do? Yes, sir. Um, we talk about palliative care or uh, comfort care, um, and we use those two terms uh, synonymously. Uh, and uh, in comparison with uh, hospice care, um, in palliative care, we're uh, going to focus on any kind of treatment that makes our patients comfortable. Um, we may still continue their, uh, their regular medication regimen, uh, but then we'll just add in uh, extra services to uh, uh, bring them uh, that additional level of comfort. Uh, it may be a more intensified uh, regimen of pain medication, uh, anxiety relief, um, uh, or uh, other services such as um, psych services, um, chaplain services, etc. That's interesting. Uh, how many beds do we have dedicated to palliative care at special needs facility? We have 16 beds at uh, Lois DeBerry dedicated to palliative care. Um, we do have other patients throughout the state that are receiving palliative services. However, uh, those beds and that uh, designation is flexible everywhere else. Here, though, we have 16 dedicated uh, beds in this unit. Does those beds normally stay full or do we have empty beds from time to time in the unit? They uh, stay full full um, on a fairly consistent basis. Um, patients will pass through this unit. Uh, sometimes they're only here for a couple of days. Um, in other cases, they may uh, reside here for uh, 12, 18 months. It just depends upon the individual patient and their uh, disease course. Uh, could you talk for just a moment about some of the, the staff, the positions that, that deal with this and, and I assume the chaplain comes quite regular and, and, and Oh, yes, sir. Uh, well, there's an attending uh, physician that is assigned to this unit that's going to make rounds. Uh, there uh, is also a mid-level practitioner or nurse practitioner uh, that will support the physician uh, in making rounds and attending to their primary uh, care needs. Uh, they may still have appointments with their specialists. It uh, just depends upon what their uh, disease diagnosis right. is. There's going to be a skilled nursing staff that is here as well. So there are uh, RN, registered nurses. There are also licensed, practice, uh, licensed practical nurses that are on this unit. And then, of course, there are uh, nursing assistants or techs that are going to uh, support the patients with their uh, activities of daily living, um, hygiene, uh, and, and their other personal care. Um, the chaplain uh, does come through the unit on a regular basis as well. Mm -hmm. We also uh, will have some uh, psych services uh, to come and uh, help the patients as they adjust and acclimate at these uh, changes uh, in their uh, life. Uh, what about like their parents, their mother, their father? Are they allowed visitation? And, and Yes, yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the room that we're presently in uh, is utilized as a, a day room for family visitation. Um, these uh, patients have the opportunity for uh, more frequent uh, family visitation. Um, they uh, do have roommates in some of their rooms, so this gives them the opportunity to come out and occupy a space and have a little bit more privacy. Um, and uh, it's going to be transitioning into a dual purpose room uh, for both the, the chaplain uh, as well as uh, the, day, the day services. That's great uh, th that we take care of, of people, that, you know, when it comes time for that. So we appreciate that, appreciate what you, you and your staff do. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to, to be here to help them. Um, they're people, uh, and these people deserve, uh, you know, uh, dignity. Uh, we all uh, should be afforded dignity uh, in dying. Yes, sir. 
anything else you would like to comment on? Well, you know, I would like to point out this unit uh, also gets the opportunity to uh, have been decorated by past patients. Uh, behind us on the wall, there is a mural uh, that was actually painted by residents in the palliative care unit. And the walls in the hallway leading through out the unit uh, were also painted by the uh, patients. And there's a smaller uh, version in each one of the units. Okay, that's good. Well, I appreciate it. Thank uh, you, sir. It's good to, to just share a little bit of our, our uh, services here at, at Debray Special Needs in Nashville. Uh, once again, I appreciate everyone watching TDOC Talks.